Okay, folks, let's do a card reading here for the 19th. Let's do, if you're picking card number one, this is your card. If you're picking card number two, this is your card. A lot of earth energy already. And card number three. So let me know in the comments, guys, which card did you pick? All right, so I'm actually feeling drawn towards card number two as priority and then one for myself. So Queen of Earth, thoughtful, creative, warm, and sensible. Make time for those around you. Take a sensible approach. Deal with challenges in a kind and understanding manner. So um, this is the 19th of September. So we are walking into uh, more focus on partnerships. Also, uh, we're going to be going into Libra here soon, which will very much be about balancing those uh, healing relationships. So you might find if you're going into... Um, more focus on like romance or it could even be like you're focusing more on being passionate towards your dreams maybe you're studying psychology or something um, but it does feel like there's some type of movement or progress and this is going to be successful for you okay wonderful card so if you're picking card number two we've got three of earth so the power of creativity recognition for very high quality work be a team player Whenever we see three here, this is you have finalized some type of decision, you're ready to move forward in some type of creative energy, creative project. Uh, this might bring in some finances for you, uh, might earth you, ground you, that sort of thing. Um, I do still sense uh, partnerships are going to be strong if you're picking card number two. It feels like you're really starting to create more flow in your life. Um, I see you broadcasting out more good news as well, which is fabulous. If you're picking seven of air, you've got plans that need revision, more going on than meets the eye and poor timing. All right, let me know as well in the comments, what pops out to you about card number three? Is there anything that stands out? Do these people look um, dead or alive? Are the horses popping out? Are they unicorns? Do you see a rabbit? Do you see flowers? So um, one of the things that comes up with the seven is reflection and spirituality. It's time to really start diving deeper in into psychology, things like that, into the books, into the study, that sort of thing. There might be a transition that you're going through or experiencing in your life right now. And this is also for a healing opportunity. This is telling you take more time to reflect on the good times as well when you're looking back. Um, mentorship might be helpful in terms of mindfulness as well um, and also if you're having a, the tendency to to judge like judging other people judging yourself this is a great time to again step back from all all of the judging and just look within on a deeper level this is not a time to take big risks either this is just a time to settle in to where you are being more content with your life all right guys so i think this was a pretty good reading let me know as well and i hope you have a beautiful day thanks for following me on tiktok and subscribing to my youtube bye for now